Good afternoon. This is Mohammad Nisar. I'm a chief embryologist. Uh, today I'm going to discuss one typical uh, characteristics of uh, sperm morphology. Uh, in some particular group of patients, we, we found something. This, this is a uh, globosospermia. Globosospermia is a uh, a term used for sperm who are abnormal and it look like a round head it's like a globo, globe that is the reason it, it is called globosospermia now this uh, this uh, group of patient will have a, uh, less than 1% of this patient uh, will have a globosospermia in 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 our average population uh, most of the time you will not have a acrosome it is just a round uh, dummy head with no no uh, acrosome no uh, genetic material though they get they look like a, a good motile form you will see now i am going to focus and uh, going to show you in in detail in a microscopic view uh, in our microscope uh, just focus the in here see you will see all this round round head sperms and yeah you will have an all round sperm uh, some some are amorphous most of the uh, majority of the sperms are all all round head sperms uh, more, there, there could be a genetic problem. Uh, I have just discussed this uh, patient uh, about family history. So, just I want to discuss on this uh, family background. Um, most of the 85% of the sperms are mostly same uh, ab uh, abnormal characteristics. You will find it in this globosospermia and you will find less than 1% of male infertility of this group all mostly uh, uh, round head without acrosome and uh, abnormal nuclear membrane this is the uh, this is the situation now i have discussed this patient uh, can we enlarge uh, Pfizer? this is the magnification this is, you can't go more than this magnification yeah yeah, I just slow down the sperm. I am going to focus on the other. Yeah, just go very closely. See, typically, no acrosome. Yeah, you fo focus from corner, Faisal. Yeah, you can you can find a beautiful image. Hmm? Yeah. Don't focus. Uh, don't enlarge so much that it will blur. The picture will get blurred. Yeah. See, some of the sperms look. Uh, oval look, look little bit elongated but it is still it is abnormal uh, we can go a little bit uh, inside uh, uh, you see yeah we can, they, they are swimming very uh, nicely you you record this okay now you turn the camera on myself I will explain about uh, uh, yeah now now I'm just trying to uh, I have inferred this patient uh, about his family history he has four brothers and four sisters one of the brother has a two boys and one of the son has a high protein discharge so he has a kidney problem another 
son. Uh, he has a two one one brother married with the two male kids. One of the son of that uh, brother has a kidney problem, high protein discharge. Another son is uh, weak bones and all. It is typically handicapped, something like that. Since I am not a genetist or a genetic counselor or cytogenetist or I am not doing any research on genetic, but just I took the uh, uh, patient family history. So one of the brother again married, no kids. And few, uh, one of the sister married with a baby girl and she, the, 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 she has a daughter with a uh, abnormal eye eyes so her eyesight is so weak and some typical characteristics he explained about his eyes uh, her eyes but I have no idea then uh, one of the sisters she has a two uh, two daughters and they they look normal so uh, overall if you analyze the whole family history of uh, genetic uh, family history um, more of the more uh, genetic problem than the any 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 other problems so this gentleman i have discussed he is married for one year and he just checked it is a totally globosospermia and i have we, if to go very deeper into that uh, that uh, family history and checking their analyzing that their semen, semen analysis we will know what is the exact problem how they are why they are getting this so many abnormal sperms and this abnormal sperms are producing the uh, uh, genetically abnormal babies we have to study all this uh, this since i am not a genetist but for better understanding i am just trying to uh, get this conclusion so it is not today i have discussed most 100 percent abnormal morphology so this gentleman asking me, I uh, may be wrong, but I what I told maybe you have to uh, go to uh, cyto I mean genetic genetic counselor or those I have referred one uh, uh, doctor for uh, they are doing research on uh, genetic. Uh, analysis and some chromosomal abnormalities, all uh, PCR and uh, all this um, uh, they are doing on research. So I have referred this patient to them. But he is asking repeatedly, what is my condition? How? I said, typically with this this form you will not have a fertilization. Now the problem is, even if you have a fertilization, but you if you go to your family history, your brother and sisters, and he has abnormal uh, uh, babies already in his families. Uh, one sister has abnormal baby, one brother has no babies at all, so his his condition will be same like this. And one of the brother has a two son, and both are abnormal. One with the protein, another with a totally handicapped, with the no growth of bones. He could not stand the baby, the boy. Could not stand and it is very lean, weak and lean. It is typically handicapped. We have to analyze. So the bottom line is, this is a really interesting case of globosospermia. And to have a globosospermia and a very big family of this gentleman, and he has a all because if this man has only son, then we will not uh, find out what is the problem. So it is very good information. This family has a lot of genetic anomalies so it, it needs uh, uh, to study very well so that we can uh, get proper information thank you very much god bless